Hello, here we will be having a brief look at fitting parametric copulas to historical data in model risk. Before viewing this tutorial, I'd encourage you to have a look at our overview video describing all the different kinds of fitting in model risk as that will maybe put this in a bit better context. As you may know, copulas are a very powerful mathematical technique and tool for capturing both linear and nonlinear correlation structures and data. What's very nice about copulas as implemented in model risk is we can not only capture those correlation structures, we can very easily build them into risk analysis models, which is very important in many cases depending on the application. So uh, in our example here, what we have is a set of 1,000 data points, three sets of data of 1,000 data points. If you read across each row, we'll imagine that each row are the three data points taken together or at the same time, and we have here 1,000 of them. So if we are interested in this data and we're wondering if it might have some correlation structure built in that we need to, if we're going to use this data to project some of these uh, parameters into the future, we'll first, we can first select the data. We can go to the fit button. In this case, we're doing a parametric fit, so we'll go ahead and click the multivariate copula fit. There also are non parametric or empirical copula fitting available in model risk. And we'll have uh, a look here first to see if the parametric works. And if not, non-parametric is an option as well. So we've selected all the different parametric functions in model risk. Very quickly, model risk tries to find the, the, the copula and the parameters that best fit the data that we've presented. Based on the information criteria, that's the normal copula. We can see here a, in the copula fit window a graphical representation of the copula. We can also add some labels based on our data, which makes it a little easier to look at. So we selected the normal copula. The parameters are listed here. But what's kind of uh, interesting is to look at the copula because this is multivariate. There's really a copula associated between each of our three variables. Let's first look at the correlation between variable A and variable B. We can first look at the data itself. Data looks very scattered, uh, very low correlation structure. If we click the copula, it's also mimicking that. And if we look at them together, we can see, in fact, that the copula that's fitted here shows very low correlation. If we look at B and C, we see the same structure between data B and data C. But then if we look at the correlation between data A and data C, we see, wow, yeah, very clear structure correlation. And the other thing what we, that we can see is that not only is it sort of linear, but it tends to be more highly correlated at each end. So it's sort of pinched at the ends. And it seems that the normal copula actually represents that quite well. So we'll go ahead and use this to represent this correlation structure in our model. Put the, just simply choose the copula radio button, click the data location. It tells us it must be one dimensional of three cells. We've got the model set up here to take this as an output. Click OK. Click OK again. We have now here uh, a copula that correlates <clears throat> these structures. We can recalculate the spreadsheet, and every time it's going to give us three sets of data or uh, three numbers that are always correlated based on the structure that we have identified in our data. Previously, I've gone ahead and fitted some parametric distributions to each of our data sets. Uh, a, in this case, a gamma, a Bradford, and a log logistic distribution to our data for each A, B, and C. And then if we now in our model want to be able to simulate these three parameters using historical data not only to represent the distribution of the population but also the correlation between them, we have now with these two sets of data all the information we need. We can use the VOS simulate function 
The first parameter is the distribution object. Second parameter is the copula itself. And then what we can do now is run a simulation. And every time we recalculate the spreadsheet, we get a random sample from each of the three distributions. However, those random samples are all correlated based on the structure that we've identified already. Now, just to prove that actually our copula is representing the structure that we're interested in, I previously ran a simulation with 10,000 trials and copied and pasted into this other tab on my model here. On the left is the copula. Here's the copula between variable A and variable B. We can see very little correlation structure. And here's a scatter plot of the results of my simulation between A and B. And we can see, in fact, that the simulation is accurately representing that there is very little correlation between these two variables. However, we can also clearly see that the two variables that were highly correlated, A and C, that had this kind of football shape with the ends pinched and very close correlation at the uh, ends of the distributions, but relatively less correlation in the middle, has been quite accurately represented in our uh, output, our scatter chart of our results of the simulation with pinched results at the end, less correlation in the middle. And again, when we look at uh, B and C, no correlation. So I hope you can see that co copulas in general are a really, really powerful feature in model risk. And we believe unique to model risk for running risk analysis models, certainly in the Excel environment. This allows you to be able to represent some very interesting, complex correlation structures very easily and quickly. We've done it here in just a few minutes. So the other thing I mentioned earlier is that there also is something called a non-parametric or empirical copula. Uh, there's another tutorial available that discusses that topic. I'd encourage you to have a look at that. If you want to find out more about copulas in general, there's a lot of information in the model risk help file, and I'd point you to that. If you haven't already, I'd encourage you to download a free 30-day fully functional trial of model risk from our website, www.vosoftware.com. The model risk help file is also available online at our Vos Software website. And if you have questions regarding sales or technical support, I'd encourage you to contact our sister company and our main reseller, Vos Consulting, at www.vosconsulting.com.